people don't know what we do or how we do it or why we why we should matter to the world. Okay, um, so Luma is an access to justice chatbot. We provide access to practical, basic legal literacy to assist people to under, for them to understand how to navigate the legal system um, at its most basic level before they need um, intervention from a professional, whether that is a community paralegal or an, an, a paid attorney. So that's essentially the process that we're trying to facilitate. It's information and um, access to services. has always been those who have been on the outside of being able to access um, justice even at its most basic because of time because of money um, and just not being able to have the resources to be able to to get the stuff that we take for granted as basics there but for some people it's not so easy to google but the one thing people do have is whatsapp and facebook say um, a lot of the challenges in the last 18 months haven't necessarily been um, prompted from external factors it's more internal factors you know once you get the money that's when the real work starts that's when um, you have to start putting processes in place and dealing with decisions that you didn't necessarily have to deal with or have to make before you got the money I mean, you go talk about legal tech or access to justice tech at any pitch competition, usually you're the only one. You know, people are people normally put you, slot you into education because people don't know what we do or how we do it or why we why we should matter to the world. Um, and I think even amongst each other, sometimes it's difficult to see, okay, how are we going to make this work? Um, be kind to yourself. It is a journey, um, so ups and downs. And also be brave. Be brave um, to do things that are outside of your comfort zone. Be brave to, to talk to people you wouldn't normally talk to. Be brave to, to even sell that crazy idea, even if it hasn't come to fruition yet. You, you don't know who's gonna, who's gonna jump on. That's how we got our first B2B client, because I just went out there and I I talked like I had it and she believed me and that's sort of what happened and it was through a hill a hill session yeah